I wear three hats. <laughs> when I'm not teaching, I'm playing or I'm running. Yeah, and that's that's my thing. Uh, uh, talk for a while at St. Daniel's in five years. Uh, they gave me a module on instructions and presentations methodology. In layman's language, I, I was given the responsibility to teach people how to teach. For the mandate given to me by the dean was very simple. In fact, I'm going to make you guys teach yourselves. And when you do a fine job, I'll let it go. The only time I jump into the picture is if I feel a mekula. Otherwise, most people come to a learning environment with their own experiences, with their own learnings. And it's a foolish trainer who does not capitalize on that. It's a foolish trainer who thinks he's the only source of great ideas. His participants often have a lot of brilliant thoughts too. Agreed? Of course. <laughs> because we're tired, huh? All right. So I'm going to help you develop the right mindset toward it so that it becomes less spooky, less something to dread and more something to look forward. All right? That's one of the things that you can do. So I'm going to teach you all sorts of techniques, including uh, speaker's notes view. For all you see is my slide, but on my monitor's laptop, I can see everything else, including, if I wanted to, what's going on with my Facebook account without you or anyone else knowing that I'm doing it. It's called Speaker's Notes. I'm going to teach you how to do that. Last one, please, out loud. Please let me know after the Two days, way short, but we can make it work if I share with you techniques so that you can stay sharp. So long after this, you keep the saw sharpened. Okay. Number two, please, out loud. In other words, evidence. Uh, people will say, beside your home, it's really good. So, can you have good evidence? So, I'm promising you, by the way. So, we need to have evidence. And at least two. When I say two, I'm not saying two of a kind, I mean two of different types of evidence. Because the more evidence you have, the more believable you become. Because if people ask me, where do I put my best material? I tell them at the start and at the end. People will remember how you ended, how you started, but they'll forget what you said in the middle. So these are the four that work. Out loud, please. That's right. So my expectation is, from now on, every time you come up here and you're asked to either give a report or give a speech, that you have a powerful enter, any one of the four. And so now you'll be thinking about those things as you go through them. Because truthfully, when people take an airplane ride, they don't clap when it takes off not even when it's flying, but they do clap when it finally lands safely. I mean, if you've ever flown with OFWs, you know that's true. Because they've been gone for two, four years, finally going home to the Philippines. And they clap and they land on the ground. So a great ending is often appreciated. Number four, please. Ah, Dale Carnegie once said, all credible speeches come from two sources, your experience and your education. You talk outside of the two, you're asking for trouble. Yes. First topic for this afternoon is this, confidence builders. Now, don't let the titles or like mislead you or anything, no? Ito lang kasi ang assignment ko sa inyo, yung tatlo. Ask yourselves, what are some of the things that you can do to manage stage fright? In other words, you to talk to each other. Ano ba yung mga technique niyo para makontrol niyo yung takot? Kasi we can never totally eradicate it. North audience analysis. Now, it is somewhat more complicated than normal. After all, if you'll notice, mawalo. Here's the good news for your group. Discuss only what you feel comfortable discussing. In other words, if you feel that you can talk about it properly, then it's fine. Kung may mga categories ito na medyo, sir, pwedeng sa inyo na lang yun, that's fine. I'll, I'll catch it. Kung ano man yung gusto nyo, ako na yung mag-discuss. 
But here's what I would like you to do, or in other words, yung ang gulong nahan natin yun. Ask yourselves, if I were supposed to give a speech, how do I make adjustments? For instance, number one, ano nakasulat? Gender. Is there a difference between presenting to an all-male group versus an all-female group? Stuff like that. How do you deal with a mixed crowd? Male, female, paano pa kung may third gender yun? Do we have particular things that we need to change or do when dealing with particular types? Diba? So, yun yung mga talang sa inyo. How do you adjust na like this one? Is there a way of presenting to managers? Is there a way of presenting to staff? Is there a way of presenting to yung mga medyo may lupa? <laughs> or a different way of presenting to those yung medyo may gatas pa yung habi nila, no? Is there a way of doing that? There are, no? But I'll let you talk about that amongst yourselves. Again, only what you feel comfortable discussing. If not, iwanin na. I'll take care of it. Because we won't have a chance to always attend a speech club. Right? We're already busy where we are. But little things like those, you practice arguing, whether by yourself or with other people. You read a lot. Really read. No? Tapos yung bang, eventually you will join a Toastmasters club or a public speaking organization para mahasa. If you're active in your church, by all means, volunteer. To be a worship leader, to be a growth group leader, Bible study leader. But every chance you get to be in front and to speak in public, do it. Christmas is soon approaching, and I have a feeling Femari might be looking for two people to recruit here to be MCs for the party. One guy, one girl. Because at least guy Duman has a training. So don't be surprised if you get invited to us. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs>